What's up everyone, my name is Parvin, welcome to Potato Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Plays, the best feed of sick League of Legends clips on YouTube, posted twice a week. Going into our 5th place clip for this week, we have Furby on Renekton. He's waiting patiently for the right moment to strike as the enemy Morgana is trying to keep him backed off as her team does Dragon. He's going to outrun the Sun off her ultimate and head in as Dragon is falling very low. Lux is going to toss out her ultimate and Renekton is going to toss out his double dash using his Q to pick up the triple kill and the Dragon Steal. Now switching to Morgana, he will get the quadra kill, hunt down Nocturne using Flash to pick up the Penta, Dragon Steal and basically the win for his team. Coming in at number 4, we have Lorik on LeBlanc in a high elo ranked solo queue match. And we start this clip off with him jumping onto the enemy Irelia using his QW to silence her. Now Shaker reveals himself, so he's actually going to choose to flash away as Lee Sin emerges from the side, forcing the enemy team to back off. And he'll actually do massive damage to Irelia as she flashes, trying to pull off the first kill. But Lorik will actually take first blood as unfortunately Shaker will get away. Now we fast forward this clip as Irelia will return and he will continuously harass her until Shaker returns for another gank and he will actually get jumped on but pick up the kill on Irelia with that auto attack and now retreat into the brush with only 6 health left and most people would assume that red buff and Shaker equals no escaping but he will do something smart here as LeBlanc baits him into the trap and he flies through the air but Lee Sin will act quickly enough and shield the damage saving his life again. Incredible place all thanks to the teamwork between a good jungler and the solo mid champion. And for our third place spot for this week, we have Eve Varys playing on Cassiope. And we jump right into the heart of this battle with the flash kick from Lee Sin. She's actually going to flash towards the low health tower, turning to land a sick ultimate on all four enemy players. And they were capable of crushing her on the tower in a split second or the tower, followed by that Sonar ultimate. Here comes Riven and Shivana to help crush the rest of the enemy team as Eve Varys will pick up the triple and then quadra kill. And now they will chase this Caitlyn for a little as Riven will actually cut her off for the beautiful ace, all thanks to the incredible team fight changing Cassiopeia ult. Coming in at second place is Kassar on Annie with a similar clip as the last in some regards, but at the same time it's unique and definitely just as clutch. So Kassar gets opened on by Leona and immediately gets jumped on by Nocturne, falling pretty low, but Jan's going to knock Nocturne out of fear range as she falls to under 5% health, but it seems like she's going to get away. But Janet being the number one support in the world, she's going to shield her just in case anything freaky were to happen. Now we see the score is very close and it's anyone's game, but we watch as she positions herself and the enemy Leona lands a nice stun. So this is the moment where the fight is lost and you start to lose the game, but no. She will actually land and tippers on all four enemy players and the incinerate to follow, immediately picking up the triple kill as her team turns around with her and with that great synergy, they're going to pick up the ace and go grab Baron. Ace. Number one pro play for this week, we have OOPOO making an incredible return on Kogma to our show, having previously claimed second place from one of his other submissions. So this man's just going to make it rain throughout this clip with his ultimate on the enemy team, landing it several times on Nasus, and Nasus will barely survive there thanks to the Orianna shield. Now getting on the vein, landing it once after she tumbles and again for his first kill. And now he's going to switch over to Skarner, and Skarner will actually decide to switch over to Gangplank. So he's going to land his ultimate once and again for the double kill, now landing a max range ultimate on Nasus for the triple, and he will actually land it on Orianna after the flash, and I confirm this frame by frame, and he's actually going to pick up the quadra kill. I encourage you guys to watch this clip a few times, as I found the more times you watch it, the more things you notice he lands, and it's just an incredible play on Kog'Maw with amazing prediction skills. For the bonus clip for this week, we have unlimited ability on Shaco, and since the bonus clip can be about anything that piques our interest or makes us laugh, we decided to throw out you guys an interesting strategy for a level 1 dragon kill as Shaco. From my knowledge, before the recent mastery changes, this was impossible, but now you guys can check out his stats, and it looks like he went for the red and blue elixirs, which totals 500 gold, which of course means he's expecting to the extra money to start. He also starts his boxes when the announcer says 30 seconds until minions spawn, and he uses ignite on him, but it looks like he might be able to do it without using it. I can imagine it's an incredible start for your team as you give the global 190 gold, and you have the right timer for dragon when he's back up, if you choose the time. It's a neat strategy that I think will catch on pretty quickly, and I hope it's beneficial to your Shaco jungle play. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you learned a little, was entertained, or maybe even both. But as always, thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you back here next episode.